Hey, hey, how's it going? If you're new here, my name is Jan and I love makeup. And if you're not new, thanks for coming back. I really appreciate you. Today we are doing my bronzer collection. I just did my blush uh, declutter collection video and we're moving on to bronzer. And the same as with the blush, I don't know how many I have or how many I will be keeping or decluttering, but we'll find out together. Also, like the blush video and the upcoming videos, all of the products that I'm not keeping are going to a good home. I won't be throwing away anything that doesn't need to be thrown away. All of these things I bought myself, so I'm not in an all fired up hurry to just get rid of a bunch of stuff. I'm just going to, you know, keep what I like and use and declutter what I don't use or I'm not a huge fan of. So let's just get right into it. I've also included my contour products in this. They don't do the same things, but I keep them in the same drawer. So it made sense to do them and there's only a few. So first up is the Kevin Aqua contour powder and this is in the shade medium look at the pan i love this powder so much i use it all the time i pretty much use just two i'm gonna keep that one obviously contour shades so i'm probably gonna be decluttering the other one i have is the kaleidos uh, Symphony Contour Trio in Medium. This has um, a light powder, a contour powder, and a bronze. And I don't know if you can see it, but there is pan in this bronzer shade. I'm wearing it today, and I really do enjoy this. I, I would like them better if they weren't all in one but I can use this powder for like, you know, sharpening up the line under my contour if I want to. So they are useful together. If Kaleidos ever does them separately, I would definitely repurchase. So I'm going to keep this one. Next up, I have the Catrice Shape and Define Contour and Highlight Stick. I don't use the highlight stick on this. Maybe I should play with it. I don't know. I do like the contour side, though when I'm this light, it looks like a bronzer on me. So I'm going to keep it and use it primarily in the summer for a contour. Although I guess I could use it now as a bronzer. Oh, I have this blush from Made by Mitchell. And this is called Hollow There. This is a contour shade on me and it's the only like liquid contour I have, so I'm going to keep that one as well. I got this Melt Stack. It is called Contour Powder in the medium dark shades. Obviously, I cannot use the dark. This is the medium bronzer, medium contour, and then we have the dark bronzer and the dark contour. I've kept them and kept them all together because the idea of having to get rid of something that I like half of is weird. Um, I really do like the medium section of this. So I think I'm going to keep the medium and with the cover on it and declutter the two pans of the dark. I had this idea I would use them for eyeshadows or whatever, but the reality is I'm not gonna do that. So I'm going to declutter half of the melt one, which I guess counts as one, even though it's two and only half, I don't know. I'm gonna declutter that one. Next up, I have this Nabla Skin Bronzing in the shade Dune. I really like this one as well. And I've 
obviously used it a fair amount. So I think I'm gonna hang on to this one. I have this Viseart bronzer that I got off of the Boxy Charm shop because, you know, Viseart's kind of expensive. So I didn't pay full price for it. I did wear this yesterday and you really couldn't tell. So I think I'm going to declutter this one. I have the Natasha Denona Contour Sculpting Palette. That's really pretty. It's going to survive this declutter. I haven't used it a whole lot, but I want to use it some more before I make a decision about whether or not I should keep it because it looks like it could be pretty good. And I vaguely remember liking it. So yeah, I'm going to keep that one and just see how I feel. Next up, I have the Glowish uh, Bronzer in the shade 04 Deep Tan. This is the mini version. This is kind of my summer bronzer. So I'm definitely gonna keep this one. I like it a lot. Am I gonna keep it? You know what? I think I'm not gonna keep this one. Am I? I'm gonna come back to that. Next, we have the NYX Matte Bronzer. This was a gift with purchase. I never ever reach for this. I'm not a fan of it for whatever reason, so I'm going to declutter this one. I have the Believe Beauty bronzer in toasted bronze. It's the Sunstruck Marbleized Bronzer. And this is very like hourglassy Huda even but I'm pretty sure this one's just a little bit too deep for me. I purchased this when I did a full face of Believe Beauty. My options were fairly limited. Oh, but you know what? Swatching it, it's not that deep. All right, this is gonna survive this declutter as well. We have the L'Oreal Infallible Bronzer in 350 medium. This is my second one that I purchased. The first one went missing. I don't know how or why. I suspect it somehow fell into my little garbage that I keep under my desk and I didn't realize it. I had put a pretty big dent in that one. Uh, so I repurchased because I use this so, so, so often. This is fake for sure. Oh, next we have the Pat McGrath bronzer in Bronze Nirvana, I believe. Yep. I really like this bronzer. I got it to do a full face of Pat McGrath and was surprised how much I actually like this. So this is staying because it's good and not just because it's Pat McGrath. If you caught my blush declutter video, I definitely got rid of some Pat McGrath in that one. Next, I have this NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop bronzer. Actually, this is just a mattifying powder in the shade tan that I think I bought for a bronzer. I'm gonna declutter it because I never, ever, ever reach for it. Next, I have this Vesca Kissed by Diani soft matte bronzing powder. I love the packaging of the Vesca products. This was another BoxyCharm. Um, I think this came in a BoxyCharm box. It's too dark for me. It's beautiful. And I really, really like the formula, but I'm going to declutter that since it's, I mean, it is genuinely too deep for me. Oh, here we have the Shuei Duo in Sunkissed and Sunset. This is my second one of these as well because the first one I had, I used it so much that I brought it on the cruise with me and it did not survive the trip home. So 
I really loved this. I haven't reached for it in a while, but I'm going to keep it and use it because it is so good. Sometimes I struggle using the more expensive products, but I'm gonna try not to be that guy anymore. I wanna use what I like. I have this Makeup Geek contour bronzing powder that came in a blind bag. I'm gonna declutter that as well. I never ever, ever reach for it. Next up, we have the Hula bronzer I got for the video of YouTubers, you know, most talked about, what have you. Um, I haven't used it much. I'm gonna keep it because I think I should use it more before I make a decision about whether or not I like it. Next, I have the BH Cosmetics Full Heat Matte Bronzer in the shade Tan Tuscany. Again, very, very surprised by how much I like this. And it looks pretty orangey, which is weird, but in the summertime, I get pretty darn dark and a little bit orangey. So this is a really good bronzer for me. So I'm gonna hang on to this one as well. Next, I have this Milani bronzer in Dulce. Maybe it says 09. And this is what it looks like. This is too light for me. Even when I'm very, very, very pale in the wintertime, this doesn't give me enough bronzer. So that one's gonna go. I have this LYS bronzer that I'm pretty sure I really like. I haven't used it in a bit, but I'm gonna hang on to it because I'm, I'm very sure that I enjoyed that bronzer. This is a new one to my Hot Little Hands. It's the Davina bronzer I just got. It is a bit messy in there. I went in like a maniac and didn't know what I was doing. This is in the shade Havila. H-A-V-I-L-A-H. -A -A I did not say that right. I just picked this up when I got her new launch because I'd never tried any of the face products from Davina. And this is very nice. I just have to remember that it's uh, kind of softly pressed, so I don't need to go in like an animal. Ah, here's my other glowish. This is the full size, and this is in 03 Tan Light. This was the first one that I got. It is very similar to the Believe Beauty one, but I think the Believe Beauty is darker. So definitely going to keep this. And you know what? I decided I'm going to keep the mini one as well because this has more of a red undertone, whereas the Believe Beauty is more kind of just dark and cool. And this works for me in the summer which means the dark and cool is not gonna work for me. All right, that just happened. So I am gonna declutter this one after all. Okay, next up we have this Fenty Beauty bronzer in the shade In The Sun, and this is too light for me. So it's gotta go. If I remember correctly, I really do like the formula it's just not the right shade. Next up, I have the Huda Tantor in the shade Light. I love this. I don't know why I don't reach for it more often. I need to. I'm going to. See, this is what happens when you end up with so much stuff that you just can't use everything. And I really do like this one. So I'm going to keep it and I'm going to use it. And I have the Ofra and Samantha March duo in... Mm. River. And again, I really liked Samantha March for a while. So I bought all of her launches and her collabs. So I'm going to keep this one. I do actually really like the color of the bronzer as well. And next we have the Rare Beauty Bronzer Stick in Always Sunny. I think this is not the right shade for me. So I'm going to declutter it because every time I go to reach for it, I'm just like, mm, it's not my favorite. The formula is absolutely lovely, but the shade is not quite right for me. Next, we have the e.l.f. Cream Contour Palette. 
I just used this the other day. Uh, and I gotta tell you, it was very, very good. If I didn't have as much as I do, I would probably keep this and use it, but I don't reach for it because I'm reaching for other things. So I am gonna declutter it. But if you were looking for a really decent drugstore, cream, contour, bronzer situation, that's pretty darn good. I was pleasantly surprised. The same day I tried the e.l.f., I tried out these two little doobies. This is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Contour that it's not, it is a bronzer. And then I have the Revlon Color Stay 5-in-1 Concealer that I bought to use as a bronzer. So, I'm gonna keep both. I'm gonna keep both. I liked them, so I might as well hang on to them. I don't have a whole lot of cream or liquid contour or bronzers, so I'm gonna keep those two. And then I have this one that came in my gloss gauze calendar. The shade is You Are Strong. <laughs> gloss gauze. I'm gonna keep this one too because I just got it and like I said, I don't have that many liquid uh, bronzers and I wanna play more with the liquids. So those are gonna stay. Next up, I have two of the contour trios from Alomar Cosmetics. I have, I wanna say they're light and dark. This one's fair light and the other one's medium tan. So we have Fair Light right here, which is very nice. Again, I don't like the mix of products in there. And then we have Tan Deep, right? Medium Tan. Medium Tan. And yeah, I think these are going to go as well. Didn't see that coming. The quality is fantastic. I really do like them. I use them kind of a lot, but I haven't been. So they need a new home where they can be appreciated. Next, I have the One Size Made for Shade uh, Medium Trio. I wanted this to be everything my dreams are made out of. And the only shade it looks like I used is the it's the bottom one, but I'm holding it upside down. This one is too yellow for me. So I guess I'm going to rehome that as well. Okay, last two products. I have the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer in Radiant Bronze Light. I really like this so much, so much. It's beautiful. I don't buy Hourglass anymore, but I have it, so I'm gonna keep it and use it. And then I have the Diffused Bronze Light. So good. This is a cooler toned one that in the summer looks like a warm bronzer on me. So, and in the summer, in the winter time, it's like a cool toned contour. So I've used this one a lot. There's a very big dent in both of these. So there we go. Let me figure out how many are staying and how many are going, and I'll put that on the screen. Okay, so when I started out, I had 37 bronzers and contours. We're combining them, even though they're not the same thing. I'm keeping 23, and I'm decluttering 14. That feels good. Of those 23, seven-ish are actual contours. So I'm excited. That's one of my favorite things about doing these kind of declutter collections is that you can see all of the things and it's it reignites the love and the passion for playing with makeups that you already have. Like I want to buy new stuff right now because this is so fun. Let me know how you think I did in this declutter. It feels pretty good. Next up, we're going to do highlights.
and that's that's not going to be as much fun for me. <laughs> Hopefully you like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Either way, I appreciate you hanging out with me today. Be good and remember to be kind to you.